Hey guys, nice to meet you. Welcome to the first episode of my new channel, Walking with Will. Um, so today, because at the moment with the current pandemic and everything, uh, we're only allowed to go to local areas. So normally I might be going to like national parks or something, but today I'm just going around my local area, which is Calderdale area. And specifically, I'm going to go to uh, Beacon Hill, which is basically the highest point, I think I think it's the highest point, in Halifax. And also then drop down into Shipton Park and maybe uh, we'll see some ducks and stuff like that, which is always which is always nice. It's just gone past half past nine in the morning, which is always the best time to go. The best time to go out is always in the morning. I think it's around one degree outside, something like that. Um, so I've got my micro fleece on and my instead of wearing shorts, I'm just wearing like a full full base layer on my legs as well because I'll be keeping moving so I'll be keeping warm. Oh, and it's only going to take about two hours so 10 miles in about two hours up and down some hills and back again uh, and I'll show you some of the I'll show you a few spots along the way. Let's go. that the video that I had would stop recording as soon as I locked my phone screen. I'll just recap here. So I've got off got off the boring roads now so I haven't missed much but I have just come down what I like to call the Hove Edge Stairs which is just a big long staircase that comes down all of this valley here. I say valley it's like half of the valley. Um, not in like muddy or icy conditions coming down it is a little bit tricky but uh, today was absolutely fine. Everything's thawed out, even in January. Uh, by yeah, by about half nine, ten o'clock in the morning. There's a helicopter flying over. Let's see if we can. Uh... Nope, it's going the wrong way. But what I was going to say is, we've come to our first Strava. What's it called? Segment. Strava segment. That's it. So, just up here is where it starts. So that gate is where it starts, and you go all the way down to the base. Of this big thick tree. And that is right at the bottom of the valley. And then you kind of go and zig, go up here, and then you kind of zigzag up through the trees. And the end point is this white building here, this white house. It's the first segment that I found on Strava, and it's still by far the hardest one that I, I do to date. I'm blowing my own trumpet now, but um, I am the fastest, so come challenge me. We'll see how I get on today. I know for a fact it's going to be really muddy, so that is going to be quite. That is going to pose more of a threat because you just feel like you're fighting against it. We'll just see how we get on. Now you don't like you losing your pace through getting through gates, so let's go. Still got a bit of frost. So that mud is quite hard, so hopefully we won't slip around too much. I was just stretching my legs out as far as I could on that downhill, just so I can get the biggest strides possible crossing the bridge. Nice cool bridge. <sighs> Bit wobbly as that fence. hard work is that oh I'll just show you where we've come from now all of it is really really steep and then that building over there is where we've just come from but let's carry on don't waste no time I've got some coos out over here since I've started well since I've started walking regularly like every day every two days that kind of thing just don't be afraid of cows, just, if you need to, give them a bit of a wide berth. Don't run, don't shout, don't make any noise, just walk. Off a video that a farmer basically outlined all of that. 
and it's never failed me really and sometimes you can walk straight past cows if they come running up to you give them a wide berth if you need to but they don't do anything they just stop stop near you because apparently they're bored and they just want to see what's going on because they're just stuck in a field all day but we'll see how we get on with these and I can assure you they'll be they'll be right they'll be fine hello cows how are we doing Oh. oh, see, he's more afraid of me, or she, I should say, than I am of her. She just wanted to say hi. The last time I came this route, the mud was absolutely ridiculous so hopefully it's frozen over a bit frosted and hardened a bit so while it makes for uneven walking at least I'm not getting stuck in the mud, as they say. Ah, oh. hello, Mr. Horsey. Hello. He's not having any of it. No. Last time I came here, this area here where car is really, is where it was completely just mudded, mudded over. And, the, and also this bit here. But that's just it though. That's what you, that's what you get when you're walking. A lot, a lot of mud. I also couldn't find my way out of here last time, so I had to jump over a wall, but I now know, I now know that it's down here. Here's the gate. Ooh. Let's get out of the mud for a bit. And get onto one of country roads. Up there, we're going up here, which is back off of the roads, which is what we love, and back onto the fields. <coughs> I always say, you've got to, when you plan it. When I'm planning a route, I try and keep off the roads as much as possible because then you get to see all of this beauty a lot more. All that, I blind you now from sun. That's what you need uh, on top of all hills, surrounded by quarries, is uh, a little tugboat.
I've actually never been down this road so I'm not exactly sure where it'll lead but I'd like to think that my pathfinding is pretty good so we'll see Ah, we've found a public footpath. How do I get in there? Oh yeah, the old rope string tactic. Hmm, where's the string? Oh no, we've got a bolt this time. Bolt into a stump. Aha, now I've got a chain. Spicy. There we go. So up there would be to Beacon Hill, as, as it says here. Here are all the places you can go. But yeah, Beacon Hill would be up there and I might save that for a different day. But let's go meet them in Shibdoon. There we are. Here we are, this is Shibden. We're here, even though we're a bit late for Yeah, don't slip on, don't slip on ice. Wow, that uh, <laughs> Over there is Shibden All, but I'm turning around and going down there. Shibden All has had a hit TV show, I think it was on maybe BBC or something like that. Everyone really liked it about, I think it was a woman that lived there. I know it's locked down, but I would have thought there'd be more more people here. This is this place is normally rammed with walkers and families and everything like that. Doing the, maybe doing a bit of exercise or just getting out of the house. Got a bit of ice on the water there. Nearly all frozen, Jesus. Where is Matt and Nate, mate? Are they at the shop? They told me they were at the shop. Hmm, not in there. Now then. All right. All right. You should have seen me up there, like right at the top, up at the top of there. Yeah. So I've uh, finally met up with Matt and Nate Dog. 
So this is Nate Dog digging it out, and this is Matt. Uh, Matt. Hello. Matt JB. I have actually filmed them with them before, so this isn't the first time they've been on camera. You've just been having a cup of tea. Just had a cup of tea, a little walk. Yeah. I just told them all about the uh, the slipping story. And, uh, which you'll see later. Well, which, you'll yeah, see. <laughs> which you'll see in the lead up to this, but yeah. Super That'll just be the whole video, will that? <laughs> I've wasted enough time with theirs trying to, for them to try and wait around for me, so I think we're all, all just going to split now and uh, and get, get ourselves home. Yeah. Bit of a catch up, you know, in lockdown. <laughs> Safely distanced. Lockdown 3.0. Uh, lockdown 3.0. Tell you what, I always found weird. I'll show you. Oh, I always found weird this train thing. It's got some good lips. It does have some good lips. Looks like she's gonna order a vodka soda. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I always found that really, really weird. And it says Shibden Express on it because over there, uh, a bit further back from that where that one was seen, is um, the actual Shibden Express. Yeah. Which is a uh, little train for kiddies, yeah. and when it, when when you say kiddies, it means for grown people that think they're kids. Yeah. So me. Uh, yeah. But um, there's also one other train, which is the there's a land train, isn't there? Yeah, there is a land train. Yeah. And that is the biggest cop out land train. So a track. It's it's a car. Yeah. That looks like a train. Yeah, Shibden is great for so all that hill that I slid all the way down. Uh, in snow, that's perfect for sledging. It won't be long. <laughs> it's not going to be long. Uh, it's not. Soon. Snow is coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Yeah, you are in the pilot episode. That's it. Walking with Willa. That's it. Well, I might, I might just go with uh, walking with Will because walking with Willie, you might get a bit of the wrong idea. Might, that might be for more like you know nude nature walks. It's been done. It's been done. Yeah. We've had a Not naked swim. Yeah. Oh. Bye. Catch you a bit, guys. Bye. 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 Bye, Felicia. Bye, And this is the infamous Shibden Railway, which is a little train track that goes all through all through these woods here, and it pretty much goes right to the end of the park, uh, and that back, then back round. And uh, if I was to have to put a guess on the speed, it'd probably be about 15, 15 mile an hour, maybe. Maybe not even that, probably about 10, but it's good fun and it's really good so when the pandemic's not on and people are actually allowed to you know do activities and everything like that on the on the lake as well there is uh, pedalos so this is where the pedalos normally are so just over in that shack over there and you go pay some pay some money for however long and then ride around up until about i think there's like a cut-off point Probably about where them ducks are now, them geese. But as you could, as I said from earlier, we could see further up. There's completely ice, iced over here. Crazy. You can't go ice skating on there though. <laughs> so yeah, that was Shibden. There's probably a load more stuff that I haven't shown today, but we're just just doing it a little stroll really. So. It was the getting to Shibden and then also a few other things around Shibden as well. Um, now it's time to head back and I'm just heading basically back through Hove Edge so I'm not going up South Arm Hill or anything like that. Um, I'm just getting straight home really so. Get home. Get moving again to get nice and warmed up. Which is the main thing really. You gotta keep moving if you wanna stay warm.
if I cut down here. Now, if I wanted to, I could go up there, which is which takes us straight to Hove Edge and not down and up. But down here leads to the Hove Edge steps before I get back. So I did promise you guys that we'd go back to the Hove Edge steps because I lost it. Because that's well, I didn't lose the footage, but it were never captured. <laughs> can carry on up there and it wiggles all the way up to the top and further on but it's time to face the hove edge steps it's pretty hard it's, to be fair i'm making it out than it's harder to be but let's just go let's do it there we are top not anywhere near as taxing as the valley over the other side, but still a good fire burner to end the walk. Now, as we, as I've come out of that little ginnel, it's just a road walk now until I get home, so, which is very boring, as you, as you all know. So, I'll just see you at home. See you there. Uh, back home, and I've done all my checklists that I like to do. So I've done, I've had my shower, I've had my food, I've got my water, I've washed my boots, really important, but obviously put it on Strava to see and to see how well we did on that little segment. Set a new record for myself. And not only is it a new record for myself, it is a new record for the whole segment. I know this sound might sound very sad, but we don't get a lot of segments as walkers. So it took me 4 minutes 34 seconds to get from the top of that gate all the way down and then right back up to that white building as well. So I'm pretty pleased with that. That's uh, progress. We did 12.32 kilometers today. It, we had a moving time of 1 minute 43, uh, 1 hour and 43 minutes, which is good. It's really good. I thought it'd be way, well longer than that. We were out two and a half hours because of all of the... It, it wasn't too hard. It, well, it was hard in parts, but overall, had a good time. And that's what it's all about. Just go for, go for a walk, go out, clear your head if, you're, if it needs clearing, and it gives you a chance to think. Maybe, maybe have a little chat with someone as well. Say morning to every single person you meet, obviously. And just, you know, get out there. There's loads of stuff that I didn't even realise would be there. I just thought it would be road walking half the time. That's why I just put it off so much. And then, yeah, downloaded OS Maps. Yeah, follow, following a map, funnily enough, shows you where all the paths are. I hope you enjoyed watching today, just going to Shibden. It was, uh, it was very much uh, a first episode, a pilot episode, because 
Um, I had lost footage. Um, when I got back, I realised that my microphone was actually broken. I fell over, uh, did proper decked it on some ice. Um, so yeah, any suggestions, leave in the comments, anything like that. And if you want to see my roots directly, then you can always follow me on Strava. And my profile name is Will Edmondson. I don't know how easily that'll come up. I bet there's a million Will Edmondsons. But I'm on there anyway. So catch you next time. Peace.